Hello! This material covers MathCAD's built-in error handling, through which it catches errors immediately and offers explanations. The purpose of it is to communicate how MathCAD can assist you by displaying this type of notifications. Therefore, it becomes easier to validate the design's accuracy and you'll have a diminished error rate. The examples will be as short as possible because our concern now is to see some of the typical boxed error comments that are showing and how to fix them. So by keeping them simple, you don't need to pay much attention to the actual equations and in general you can enter them quickly due to MathCAD's natural math notations and correct errors as you go. If you can't figure out on the spot why an error message appears, and if it doesn't impact future calculations, then you can just move to another region for the moment and return later for troubleshooting. Now let's see the examples. If a variable hasn't been defined and it's called in an equation, this is the message that will be displayed. The math regions in light grade are disabled for now, so they're not taken into consideration. We can type in a value or enable a region for numerical solving. And remember that the symbolic evaluation might work even if you have an error, so it depends on what you're after. Whenever you are trying to perform a forbidden calculation, you are informed about it, just like in this example. Next, for vector or matrix dimensions that do not match, the message is plain, as well as the one for when you're trying to return an element from a position that does not exist. In MathCAD, the origin is set to zero by default. With a numbering starting from zero, an index value of two will correspond to the third element in V1, and an index value of three would be correlated with a fourth element which does not exist in V1. Here, it makes sense to either set a value of 2 instead of 3 or change the origin to 1 from the worksheet settings on the calculation tab. And so then we'll see the results update accordingly. So now an index value of 3 will match the third position and the value of 2 the second element. Unit errors are shown when you're about to perform an illegal calculation. One key benefit of MathCAD is the ability of intelligently keeping track of units in your calculations. These units are clearly visible and will display errors if used incorrectly. When it comes to labels, you may also be confronted with a situation when you're using the same name as for a unit, let's say meters, as a variable. To get this to work, you'll need to change the label type from the math tab in the style panel to unit. In case, we'll need to use the specific unit in the same worksheet moving further. A frequent error message that you'll see in plots is if you try to add units to tick marks. In plots, the units are shown in their designated place next to the trace definitions. Since the tick marks are unitless, you'll need to remove them from this location. Here's a tip. There is the possibility of creating your own error messages by using the error function which returns a string as an error message. In situations where you might need assistance, I recommend searching for the matter or posting on PTC community where many remarkable people engage into analyzing questions and finding the best ways to explain and help you by providing responses with their solutions.